thank you. Uh, before uh, Sean responding to that, if I might add a word or two on uh, uh, the implications of this uh, bipolarity, a new bipolarity, and the challenges and opportunities it has, including for Pakistan. Uh, in the Asia Pacific uh, part, uh, it, one key requirement is uh, for stability and avoidance of war, uh, you need a balance of power. And as in the last phases of the Cold War, uh, when we felt, some perhaps incorrectly, uh, that the Soviets were getting too aggressive, too preeminent maybe in certain areas, in region of Afghanistan, Somalia, and what have you. Uh, that we balanced uh, by uh, strengthening China, improving our relations with China, and to some extent, uh, although the, I give the Chinese a lot of credit for their success uh, that they've had, the amazing success, but they also uh, can be attributed uh, to the, uh, the shift in, uh, and the relocation of many American industries in China. And uh, now that China is a strategic competitor, uh, we are pursuing a policy of balancing, and India could be uh, seen as a potential balancer, uh, playing a role in the balance of power mm -hmm. to avoid Chinese hegemony. Uh, intentions putting aside because then we are in international politics, there is no trust. Uh, it's on balance of capabilities, and therefore, uh, for uh, precluding Chinese uh, hegemony over Asia uh, is a central uh, will be a central feature of the coming period. And 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 and, and India aspires to play the role that China did, and therefore benefit in the Soviet period. I'm saying. And this is obviously a, a dilemma for Pakistan, which has a strong relationship with China. Uh, uh, and uh, as we heard from a very uh, excellent statement by the chief, uh, that uh, wants to have good relations also with the West. So it may be a, a role that it has to, in this new configuration, what is Pakistan's role? Uh, with the core of the national security issue, the central feature of the coming system, this new bipolarity, and, and, uh, and, and, and it's all its dimensions, which will be, as I said, technological, economic, geopolitical, 